All right, so I'm going to show my steps that I go through to burn these images to wood. And I want to burn this to a, uh, to a sliced off log that I've got sitting in my laser burner. So the first thing we got to do is go to the laser burner and measure our material. Okay, so I got the piece of wood in here, and I'm just going to measure uh, from the very top to the bottom. We got almost 11 inches and about nine and a half wide. So 11 by nine and a half. Okay, so we're here at Lightburn. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to import the image. And as you can see, it's just a little bigger than what it needs to be. So we're going to come up here, and we are going to call. I've got the, uh, if you turn this lock on, that will maintain the aspect ratio of the width to the height. Uh, the height of our wood was uh, just about 11 inches, so we're going to call this 10 inches. And... Zoom in just, I've got it set right in the middle of the work area. I've got job origin uh, checked in the middle is where I like that. Uh, we've got, let me show you the settings. Uh, okay, that 4,000 uh, millimeters per minute and 60% power is fine. I've got overscanning set to 2.5. I've got this set to dither and at 200 dpi so we're going to see how that how that turns out i'm going to hit ok to that let's hit preview this is showing 55 minutes is what this is going to take uh, i like to zoom in just a little bit just to get an idea of what that's going to look like and that's pretty much all I do. Now, sometimes I will trace this, uh, and you get a little bit more control whenever you trace it. Right now, if you notice here in the uh, settings, you don't have a whole lot of things that you can do. I mean, you, well, you do, but you don't have as much than if it was traced. And let me show you what I mean by that. So if you right-click this image, you can come down here and you can hit trace. And I like to zoom in on an area that uh, has got some detail to it just to make sure that it's picking up what I want. And right now that's all looking pretty good. So I'm going to hit OK. Now if you come up here and you turn off the image uh, layer, you can see the traced image that we just did. So right now it's set to line, so if we went to preview it, we'd, we'd get a, you know, we would go, go through a line operation, and that's what we'd get. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of that. We're going to go up here and go to fill. Now we're going to get the same thing that we'd get whenever we had the image selected up here. It reduced the time a little bit. Notice now it's 48 minutes. Let's see if we can make that any better. Let's hit OK to that. Uh, if you open this up and go to Advanced, okay, Flood Fill's already turned on, so that's probably, probably about as best it's going to get. Now it's one hour, eight minute, whenever I turn Flood Fill off, and the reason is I'm... Now I'm showing the travel of the laser head, and it's going to just go uh, all the way across from end to end, painting that image. So there's a lot of wasted moves right there. If you turn flood fill on, now you can see there's a lot less wasted moves by the laser head. So that's where we're going to keep it. We're at 48 minutes. Uh, and the way, let's see. So I'm not going to do the, tr I'm not going to do the trace. So I'm going to turn the trace off. We're going to turn just the image back on because this is the most basic and 
and easy. You import in, import in an image, and you burn it. And I'll show you how good it actually turns out. So again, I've got over scanning uh, at two and a half percent, uh, speed at four thousand, power at sixty, and it's set to dither. You can set this to whatever you want. There's grayscale. In fact, you know what? Maybe I'll do grayscale. That's going to take it up to 56 minutes. No, you know what? That's a full black and white image. There's no reason to do grayscale. We'll do the other 55 minutes. Uh, so now all I'm going to do, I'm just going to save G code. And I'm just going to overwrite this right here, this spider face. Uh, you know what? We'll just call that spider face two. Okay, now let me show you how I send these files to uh, my laser burner. Now I'm connected to my laser burner right there through Wi-Fi. I've got the laser turned on. It connects. Uh, it sends out a hotspot, and I just connect to it. And I've got a shortcut right here on my uh, desktop that when I open it, it connects right up. The address to connect to your laser burner is 192.168.4.1 and it should bring up the laser burner's uh, built-in interface. You go to SD file, then we're going to hit the little upload icon here and we're going to go to documents Laser uh, Atom Stack G code, and it, there's our file which is Spider Face 2. And you're going to see that it's uploading to the laser burner right now. So now that we're there, let's go to the laser burner. Okay, we're here at the burner, I've got it turned on. I'm just going to reach down here and I'm going to hit carve. We're going to come down here, Spider Face 2. Make sure it says Spider Face 2 right there, whatever your file name is. Make sure you didn't fat finger it. I'm going to hit, I've got the laser pretty much in the center. That's about where I want it. I'm going to hit position. And that sets the, 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 you just told the laser that that's its starting point. We're going to hit frame. We're going to make sure that we've got about the uh, same. Uh, spacing on both sides, right there is about an inch and a half, and also the top and bottom, about an inch and a half on the left side, we've got about three quarters of an inch on the top, it's probably about an inch and a half on that side, so that, so far it's looking pretty good. I do have the uh, head space where I want it. So we're probably a little lower than what I want. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull this down to about right there. At that point, I'm going to... This isn't critical. If it's off just a little bit, it's still going to be fine. And I'm going to hit go. And uh, I think it's at about 55 minutes. set the uh, my GoPro in here, I'm going to time lapse this, and then we'll uh, see how it turns out. Alright, and here we are. There's the uh, finished product. Burned to our piece of wood. Let me get this out of here and we'll go look at it in some light. 
All right, here she is. Came out pretty good. Um, you can see that, you know, I could have tightened the lines up a little bit. I think this was, uh, if I remember right, 200 lines per inch. Uh, if I would have tightened that up a little bit, it would have been, been even a little bit better. Uh, I don't know if you can see what I'm talking about there. But overall, for a uh, 40, I think it was roughly about 45 minutes, I think it came out pretty good. And all this is, it's just, this is logs that I slice in half just to basically give me some, uh, something, some kind of material to burn on. It's about one inch thick. This is actually Bradford pear. It's a branch that broke off my tree and I just sliced it up in my chainsaw, ran it through my uh, planer, and uh, gives me a bunch of wood pieces to, to uh, burn on. You can see about how big it is. What was it, 11 inches? This is another image. Actually, th th this is clip art. What's nice about clip art is just black and white. The laser is either full on or full off. So there's no shading. It's just, you know, whenever the laser paints, it burns it. I can't remember what the settings were on this one. But uh, this one here was at 4,000 millimeters per minute. at 60% power, if I remember right. I think it turns out really good. Anyway. And, and once you... Uh, uh, stain it or put an oil finish on it these things really pop makes really nice uh, artwork anyway just real quick how I burn these to, to wood very quick very easy very minimal time setting it up and setting the settings up uh, again this was 4,000 millimeters per minute at 60% power so you guys take care.